hello everyone in this video we will see how we can generate the HTML dashboard for analyzing the results of a JMeter so in order to get an HTML dashboard we need a script we need to execute an script and once we will get the output of the script we will be designing a HTML dashboard to look into the reports so I am quickly jumping into uh, creating a script and once we will create a script we will execute the same script and we will try to uh, generate its HTML dashboard and look into the report. So I am into a REQRES so I will be hit making some of the request so with the help of browser as developer tool I am intercepting all the requests which I am making through my system so you can see I am making few of the requests so okay one more post request failed not an issue and yeah it's passed so what I'll do I'll copy all this request okay yes I'll copy this request as a curl so why I am copying each and every request not copying as whole because I tried to do so but I got some error and I don't want to fix those error right now I just want to see how I can achieve the HTML dashboard without looking more into the issues which I am getting while trying to generate the scripts via curl so it's fine for me so I have two requests and HTML and with the help of this I can generate the dashboard so this here it's an iterate loop count was minus one so it was an infinite loop I don't want to execute it for 36 3600 seconds which is equal to one hour yes I have got the script so before executing it I'll add, I will add uh, one more listener into my scripts which is a summary where is where is simple data writer so I'll be writing the results of the execution into a file so I need to browse for the particular file so I'll, di I'll directly where I can do so I'll go into the D folder under here I'll be using this particular CSV file Open. let me confirm this is a blank file yes so now this is a want to save changes yes this is the output file where I'll be getting the results of my report fine so just execute this script I have particular I want to execute it for three users it can 10 seconds as ramp up time and two loop count okay. so save it saving it as a curl And now execute it. Oh, I have, it's already started. The files so and so says we already you want to do you want to do append or overwrite existing file? Yes. 
so the test is started let's go into view results tree to see okay fine so i am getting an 400 yes the bad request so this is how when i am copying via curl so i am getting some incorrect body data in this request so not an issue this won't impact my uh, this will help in an this will help us in getting the re report and we can also see cover the neg negative scenario in this video i feel the test has completed yes so the test has completed we can go directly to that particular file and we can look into the data which we have yes so this is our file the csv data writer simple data writer in a csv format so so in order to generate the html dashboard first of all we will directly we we have a option in a tool menu where we can from the help of which we can generate the html report so this from here i we can easily generate the html report so it's looking for a result csv file so this is our the path of our file we can directly paste it or we can also browse it we need a user dot properties file which we can find in our jmeter bin folder yes user dot properties file and the output directory where we want to see so i just want to see here only d drive this and after this i'm making a result folder yes result folder so generate report generating report so we can go to d drive under this folder yes we have got a results folder okay yes it's working so we i feel it has been the task has been completed yes generated report created now go back and here we can see the reports so this is how the report looks like so we have uh, in the execution i had two requests 50 percent of them failed and 50 percent of them parts these are the tables which give a more insight of the results we have few charts as well so this is how we can generate the html dashboard report with the help of a jmeter tool itself from a gui now we'll see how we can generate the report with the help of non-gui so for generating it from a non-gui we'll go to the bin folder okay so for gui non-gui yes so what is the command the command is jmeter dash g and the output folder where we have our results so in a d drive yes copy so yes so this is the, my location dash o for output folder and where I want to create so I want to create here only and so out results dot one result one so this is the command jmeter dash g and the path of our the csv file the report uh, yes the results file after execution which we have generated with the help of simple data writer and then the dash o to get the output file and the path of the file let's check it out jmeter yes results dot one so here we can again see an another method with the help of which we can generate the dashboard so let's go back to our cmd this was the second method with the help of which we can generate and now let's look for the third one so the third one is jmeter so these are these two ways where we, uh, these two ways where we have designed our test cases 
uh, we have developed the HTML dashboard after execution of the uh, report uh, script. But the third way where we can generate, uh, we will be generating the HTML dashboard uh, when we start our execution. It's like with execution, we can give the detail of the script as well as the location of the path file where the output will be generated and then we we'll can also specify the location where we want to generate the output folder so for that i'll be making some changes in our script so so that there will be something else which we will be able to look into our script so what I'll, I'll be making just a minor change instead of three five okay so dash and dash t j meter dash and dash t so dash t is the target for so we'll have to specify the location of the script which we want to execute so the location of my script is is after this folder i have uh, the name is cur dot jmx after this i have located the target file after the the l dash l to log the output of the execution so i'll be logging the execution in this particular csv file only i'll be uh, before executing it i'll delete this uh, yes i'll make this file as an empty file so j meter dash n dash t dash l dash e and dash o dash o so we have to again specify the folder name where we want to generate the report results one i'm a, I, i'll be yes so results one the same folder which where i have which i have used earlier so i'll delete all this report the data which was present so i've deleted the data which was present in results one so and also i have to clean this 11430 yes okay so now i can execute this so he in this uh, command what I have said I am executing the jmeter script in a non GUI mode and the target file the script file the location of the script file dash t the location of the script file dash l is to log the results of a re execution into this particular CSV file and after that I am a, a writing to generate an output file in the particular folder from the log file so I can execute this after clicking on enter okay oh no this particular file is not empty okay 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 what i can do once again is i uh, i'll just make a minor change yes i'll just tweak the name of this folder file yes so it will generate a new file with this name and we'll use the particular file for generating a dashboard so now I feel I'm good to go. Yes. Finger crossed, don't know why it's taking long time. Yes, the execution started. So 
so execution started execution ends and ends with a 50 percent error fine now let's go to our results so yes here i can see my new results and here if you'll see we have i have executed with 20 samples yes the changes which i have made is reflecting in my scripts so this is how we can achieve the jmeter dashboard html dashboard which gives which help us to look into the insights of the results so thank you everyone uh, hope you like the video and yes there were few minor mistakes yeah it but yes it happens sometimes when you go try to make something or the other if you like the videos click please click on the like button and also subscribe my channel and also let me know what are the videos that you that you want me to come up with thank you everyone